Friends, in the last video, Digital Terrain Analysis 3, we have done the pre-processing of digital elevation model. That is, we have mosaic them, reprojected them, and then clipped to the region of interest by a polygon. Now, we will go for deriving basic terrain derivatives from this digital elevation model using Saga. So, this was the region of interest. That is one district we have selected. Now, we need to derive digital terrain attributes like slope, aspect, hill set, and many other things. So, we will see first in the tools, there is one terrain analysis, then compound analysis, and basic basic analysis. It will give in one go more than 13 parameters. See, you have to give your grid system, then your digital reversal model. Now it will create analytical hill set means hill set, then slope, aspect, plan curvature, profile curvature, convergence index, closed depression, total catchment area, TWI, LS factor which we use in erosion modeling, then channel network base level, channel network distance, varied depth, and then relative slope position and we also get two shape files like channel networks and then basins, drainage basins. So just you have to give this grid system and elevation and other things will be created by clicking this OK. Once the tool is executed, it will be shown here, by right? Now you can go to the data and you will see all the parameters listed here and you can so see it by right? clicking so this is inside of this area this is slope this is aspect and then other things like value depth relative slope position so these things shows higher slope Higher relative slope position means higher slopes are there. So these are very useful parameter in identifying landforms actually. Then topographic wetness index and LS factor. So this is how in Saga GIS it's very handy tool is there where you can get 14 terrain parameters in one go. Other things are like drainage channel network. This is the channel. We want to see it on mosaic means dam. See this is the channel network derived from it and the, this is the drainage basin. Now we can save all these generated rasters one by one or at once. See for one by one suppose you want to only some raster to be saved then you can like I want relative slope position just right click on relative slope position and then save as and you can save it as a either saga grid or GOTF also you can save. So like GOTF I will save. Other, other method is directly just close it. It will ask do you want to exit Saga? Click yes. Directly it will ask to save all the generated raster or vectors. All the generated files. So you can directly save it. Like click it like save all. So every product or layer will save to a default temporary folder. You can change one by one. You can change from here. Wherever you want to save it, you can save. Or it's better to just copy this part and then click OK so that every file will be saved in the this folder and then we can go to this that folder and copy all the files from there and save it. Paste it to our desired folder. Click OK and then you will find this we have copied the path. You can go to the path. You will see every all the parameters are here. So we can copy it and paste to our desired folder. So that is how we can generate basic terrain parameters from digital elevation model in Saga GIS. Doing it in other softwares like ArcGIS and QGIS we will be seeing in further videos. Thank you for watching.